Hello, welcome to the video number 9 of the series Exploring ROS with a two-wheeled robot. In this video we are going to explore and see how to fix the bug zero foil algorithm. Okay, so in order to do that I'm going to use the RDS, ROS Development Studio, provided by the Construct. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one following the link at this video. And after having an account, you're going to be able to see the same screen as I am seeing right now. So in order to to make this video, I'm going to use a project that I have prepared already. If you prefer, you can have the same project as I am. Just put your email at the comments of this video and I can share the project with you. Okay. Or the other way is to clone our repositories. We have one for the robot model and the roads that we are using for the simulation and another repository for the motion planning algorithms. So let's open the project here and wait a few seconds until the environment is ready. So let's start opening the simulation. So we have the world launch file inside my words package. Let's launch it. I'm going to put it to the right side. And right here I can open the IDE to take a look at the code. So let's put a little bigger. Okay, so basically the, this launch file is just, just a template we have here and I'm using the word number 3. If you have been following this to this series, uh, this is a new file that I have created for this video and it's right here in the words folder. Okay, that's why you have to update using our public repository. So Let's start showing the failure. Let's start showing the, the new scene, the new world, and how it's it can make the, the bug zero fail. So basically we have here a different let's call it let's say it's a maze. And the robot we are gonna put the robot right here at this position. So let's open a new terminal and spawn the robot. Basically, what we have to do to spawn the robot, ROS launch, my two wheeled robot description, spawn, and the Y position, which is more or less 8 meters from the center of the scene, enter, and the robot shall appear right here. Okay, here. And now, let's start the, the motion planning algorithm. ROS launch, motion plan, bug zero. If you have followed the previous video, uh, you remember that we were launching two files, actually launching one file of the behaviors of the robot and another for the bug zero manager. So now it's everything inside a single file. It's much better to, to use. And you can also update your code just pulling the Git repository here. Okay. So let's Let's do it, ROS launch, motion plan, bug zero, and the desired position. I want the robot to get right to this point here, which is more or less x equals to 2, and y, 1, 2, 3, equals to minus 3. Okay, so ROS launch, motion plan, bug zero, desired x equals to 2, and desired y equals to minus 3. Okay, and the robot's going to start. As you can see, the robot is going to try to go in a, in a straight line to the point until, so it starts in this state here, go to point, and then it, it finds an obstacle, which is the wall. So now it, the robot's gonna try to follow the wall until there is a clean path again to the point. Right here, it happens, go to point, And final wall again. So wall following. And as you can see, the robot's never going to reach the point like this. Uh, why? Because bug zero works like that. Every time the robot reaches an obstacle, it turns to the left side. In this case, it could be to the right side. And then it's going to follow the obstacle until we find again another way, another clean path to go in a straight line to the goal. But for this case, for this scene here, and of course this is just an example, 
there are many cases where bug zero doesn't work. Uh, the robot's never going to reach the point. So how can we fix that? And why does it happen? So let's check here. I have some examples, some demonstration in the repository. So let's open Catkin motion plan examples. I have here bug zero demonstration and I'm going to use it to explain why it's fa why it fails. So basically the, the blue line go to point and the orange line while following and the robot's going to reach an obstacle, try to follow it and then go in a straight line and it's going to follow the wall forever until it gets the same point again and do it the same cycle many 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 times. So basically uh, we can use the bug one which is an improvement of the bug zero algorithm and why does it work for this case? Well, basically, <clears throat> the bug one algorithm works in a quite different way, which is try to go to the point in a straight line, which is the same beginning of the bug zero. Okay. Whoops. It's right here. Try to go in a straight line. But then instead of trying just to follow the wall and try to go again in a straight line, the bug one is going to try to to know the obstacle that exists in the map. So basically, the second state of this algorithm is to circumnavigate the obstacle. Okay, so we can follow the light blue line here and the robot's gonna circumnavigate the obstacle. And you can see at this point, the robot is very close to the goal, but it's not gonna try to reach the goal right now because we have to circumnavigate the obstacle until we reach the the original point where we have met the obstacle first time. Okay, so that's why the robot's going to to follow the wall and do all this trajectory. Okay, and left the goal behind because we want to reach the point we have started, the point we have met the obstacle. So after that, we are going to change to another state. What state is that? Uh, well, basically, when we have reached the the closest point to the obstacle, which is this purple dot right here, uh, the buggy one algorithm suppose that the robot has some memory. So we are gonna save in a in a variable the closest point we have reached with the robot while we were circumnavigating the obstacle. So that's why. After reaching the, the point we have met the obstacle the first time, we are going to change to, to the state, go to closest point, which is the purple line here. As you can see, we are following the wall again, but with a different goal here. We are not just trying to, to follow the wall and reach the, the original point again. We are trying to reach the closest point, which we have, we have met the first time we have follow this obstacle okay and finally after reaching the closest point to the goal we are gonna try to reach the goal in a straight line like we have been doing bug zero okay but this time we are sure that that's the closest point to the obstacle and of course if there is no obstacle between the closest point and the goal just go in a straight line and be happy and reach the reach the object okay so that's basically the the difference between bug zero and bug one and why bug one is more effective for this case of course there are many cases many different cases and sometimes bug zero is better sometimes bug one is better but here for the bug algorithms we are supposing the robot doesn't know the map so we don't know the obstacles we have so we are navigating in a reactive way, trying to avoid and follow the wall. And that's why sometimes bug zero can crash. And sometimes it's better to use bug one to reach the point because you can you can fall into this kind of problem here using bug zero. Okay. So this is how we can avoid this kind of problem. Uh, for the cases the robot cannot reach the point using the bug zero algorithm and that's exactly the algorithm we are going to see in the next video okay 
well, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so for the next video, we're going to implement this code. If you have been following this series, it's a very good way to practice to try to implement this kind of exercise. So basically, my suggestion is you have to save the point you have met the obstacle the first time. And then after circumnavigating the obstacle, you have to get back to the, the to this point that you have saved. And also, while you are circumnavigating the, the obstacle, you have to compare all the time the position you are and if that's the closest position you have reached to the goal okay and after that after reaching the first point you have met the obstacle you just change the state and try to reach the closest point again which is a trajectory that you have performed before okay so i hope you like it don't forget if you like this kind of video about robotics about about solving problems in robotics and very practical videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We are publishing videos about robotics and ROS every day. Don't forget also to create an account in RDS. You can use our RDS for free. And please check the bell on YouTube channel to be notified about the videos. So see you in the next video.